You're going. I didn't hear you. Did they tell us any important information we need to know? Nope. Okay. Good luck out there, Lindsay. <laughs> Yep, that's me. You're probably wondering how I ended up in this situation. Okay, so, who are you? Uh, okay, I will say hello. I am Sarah Stevens. I'm, gosh, you want me to describe myself? So, I'm, yeah. a, I'm a mom. I'm the wife of Cody Stevens. I am a pharmacist and someone who dabbles in the realm of uh, trail running. Um, why do you love trail running? <clears throat> huh. Uh, there's lots of reasons to love it. Um, I s haven't been doing it all that long. Started trail running in what was it 2018 2019 there was like this spartan business that happened for a bit which was really cool obstacle course running and then on the side to get better at spartan you have to know how to trail run better so that was why I started doing that we had these great friends um jared and sarah who just encouraged me and so we started running trails and then that's when cody got interested in trails and um the reason I continue to do it is because you're out in nature. You're um, among the trees and the rocks and the hills and the animals and it literally is the only time where I've been fully quiet in my head. It's like meditation. So um, I think that's why I really, really love it because it's, it's the time I guess I feel most at peace. There's like always a moment during a race where I don't know if it's when you're super tired or when um, you're alone out there or what have you. I don't know. There's just always this moment of like peace and I just think about it and I am grateful. So I think maybe that's probably the biggest reason. It's like my, my, my mental health and meditation place. How you feeling? I did not like that run at all. No? So my crap? I don't feel very good. I'm still kind of sick, and it felt hot. I think it's like 85 out right now. I'm just tired. <sighs> yeah, it's like the slowest ever. It was almost, it was like three points better than running on a treadmill. <laughs> Not all runs can be awesome though, right? Sometimes they just suck. It's true. Today it sucked. How did you get first started in trail running? Well, I, I sort of, I, I went ahead on the questions, I guess, but I, it, it was really Spartan um, was the reason that we got into it and our friends. Like, I think every, every cool thing I've done or cool or I don't know, unique maybe, or things that not everybody gets into has always been because someone told me I could and I listened to them and that doesn't always happen. But Spartan was one of them where I had trainers that said you could do it and I did it. Um, and I was able to and it was awesome. Um, super hard, but it was awesome. Um, and then same with um, our friends Jarrett and Sarah. I remember Jarrett, he, there was a 10K and, and it was after we had done a Spartan, which was longer than that. And he said, and I was like, oh man, I don't, I'm gonna have to train up. Like it's gonna take months and all this stuff. And he's like, no, you could do it. You can do it. And so I tried and I, and I could, again, it was hard, but I could do it. So um, that's really how it got started. It's just, I think, listening to people who said I could um, and also surrounding myself with people I admired that were doing things that I hadn't yet and wanted to. What's something people seem to misunderstand about trail running? <laughs> I think the biggest misconception with trail running is that you're running the whole time <laughs> because I mean especially when you talk about ultra runners for the most part of course there are the elite superhuman people who can run insane distances up in stained mountains and not stop but 
the majority of trail runners, at least that I know or have run around, it's hiking too. So there's, you know, if you're on a really steep incline, especially long distances, I mean, there's moments where people are power hiking. And so it's not like you have to consistently run up and down mountains for insane amounts of time, right? So it's, it's sort of a balance. The second misconception is that people care how fast you are because um, they don't. <laughs> in trail running, it's this beautiful community of people who, it's about the finish. It's about doing something you didn't think you could do. It's about being in nature and respecting nature. And like, it's just this beautiful community of people who just love being out on trails. And whether you're front of the pack, middle of the pack, DFL, <laughs> it doesn't, it literally doesn't matter. It's that you went out there and you did it. So, um, I think those are the two misconceptions, really. How you feeling? Pretty tired. Yeah? Yep. Doing well. Everything hurts and I'm dying. <laughs> <laughs> no, the, I mean, the uphill was hard, but fun, beautiful, beautiful views. The downhill was hard. My left knee hurts a little bit, but not bad. Okay. I can imagine if it was like about 70. Yeah. Oh my god. Looking good. Like I'm barely moving. Should have just been a couple more miles. My ultimate trail running goal is right now a 50k so i i've the longest distance i've run is is a half marathon and i'm doing that again this year um 2020 wasn't much of a running year 2021 wasn't much of a running year so 2022 um well i guess end of 2021 i started um, a series through with air viper running where it, they have like it's called the desert running Desert Runners Trail Series, right? Desert Trail Running Series. D it's called the Desert Runners, DRT. the DRT, Den Desert Runner <laughs> Trail Series, whatever. There's different levels, and I'm doing the Quail Series, mostly because I love quail. Second, because it's not the shortest distances, it's like the second up, and you do four total races, and they start smaller and then end, like the, the capstone is a half. So I'm, I'm gonna do the half this year, and then um, Cody's coach, Eve, um, is gonna build me um, a training map for whatever I pick for my 50K, which will be really great, and, and Cody had such a great experience with her training for his 100K, I think that will be the way I do it. Um, it's just a matter of picking the race, when do I wanna train, you know, summer versus not in Arizona, advantages and disadvantages to both and then getting that done so it's it's like the marathon of of trail running um only a little bit longer because trail runners are more ba just saying um so i'm gonna i'm gonna work towards that um i don't really see myself training hard for 100k or 100 miler or longer because of the just the time commitment you know um that's like your second that's another full-time job and you know got a kiddo and a career and all that stuff. What advice would you give someone who's unsure about trail running? Um, if you're unsure and on the fence about trail running, um, just do it. Um, I would say sign up for a race and force yourself to, to just get past that comfort zone and do it. Find, if you're a friend of mine, I'll sign up with you. Um, just maybe find someone to do it with and try it. Um, I think people can do a lot more physically than they think they can. And you're, you're usually it's your mind blocking you from doing something that, that you totally could do physically. Um, and even if you don't have to run the whole thing. So if you're a person that's like, oh my gosh, I could never run a 5K, you know, 3.2 miles, there's, or 3.1, there's no way I could run that consistently. You don't, you don't necessarily have to, like run, hike it. Um, just finish something, right? Um, so I, I would just say do it um, and there's lots of um, information out there on how to train.
so online or find a coach or um, you know even what I my main exercise routine is going to Orange Theory Fitness and that has improved my running alone a lot um, I have to train extra to go further and longer distances and get really good at trail running right because of the vert and things like that and technicality that it can have but just doing the gym I'm and running consistently um, will help you so find a friend sign up for a race figure out your training program but the first is sign up for a race do it you would say sign up for a race before even yes. going just out on the trail and trail running yes have your goal because that will force you to do it you'll talk yourself out of all the other stuff I don't know I I personally need a goal I'm striving for. And if you've signed up for the race, you can sign up for one months down the road, right? Like you have something you're striving for um, versus like, oh, I might go trail run. You know, like, I mean, you could, you could do it that way too. You could go to a trail first and see if you like it. But um, I would, I'm, I'm considering the people who are already on the fence because they already like being out on a trail. They're just not sure about what is this trail running thing and should I actually sign up for a race? What does grit mean to you? Ooh, what does grit mean to me? Ooh, I love, I love that word. Um, I think grit is such an important um, trait to hone and have. Um, not everyone has very much, a lot of it, right? Um, I think it's, in the simplest term, like not quitting when you want to. Like pushing through the moments in a physical challenge or mental or both really, because that's what's happening in some of these um, feats that we wanted to do in our lives. It's getting to that point point where like you your your body's telling you no, your brain's telling you you can't, and then you give it the finger and you do it anyway. Like that that to me that's like greediness, right? Um, it's your mental toughness um, and just pushing through. Would you consider yourself an everyday athlete? That's an interesting question. Would I consider myself an everyday athlete? Or would you consider yourself an athlete? Yeah. Yeah. Like, I, I mean, I'm not a professional athlete. Like, I don't get paid to do it. I pay other people a lot of money to do, <laughs> to train and to do, to do things, it seems like. But um, I don't know. I, that's kind of a tough question. But I, I don't really know how you define athlete. I think most people associate that with people who are elite or paid, right, to do sponsored, all of that stuff. But man, if, if you're doing any sort of physical sport on a regular basis, you're an athlete too, right? So yeah, yeah, I'm an athlete. Thank you. Whew. Under three. What?